Um, right. Again, hands together, nice boop. When I say his name, Mr. George Coppen! Yeah. Hello! Yeah. God, this brick place really is hidden by name, hidden by nature, isn't it? <laughs> and, um, hello, my name is George Coppen. I'm an actor. Yeah. I'm a comedian. Yeah. And I'm also a professional dwarf. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I recently became professional after filling out PDF. Mrs. Live, do you know what PDF stands for? I don't know. It stands for Professional Dwarf Forms. Right. Yeah, I've seen seven. <laughs> don't I let that one sink in. <laughs> but I know what you're thinking, and it's the same thing everybody thinks when they see me. God, that guy from Game of Thrones had a nasty accent, and he? Just so we're clear. I'm not Peter Dinklage, okay? This is Peter Dinklage, this is me. In case you're a bit confused about the t-shirt, basically it's me wearing a t-shirt of Peter Dinklage, wearing a t-shirt of me, wearing a t-shirt of Peter Dinklage. <laughs> basically, I'm having a breakdown. <laughs> I know that was more of a 2020 thing, but I'm a slow learner. I did that exact same joke in Nottingham last week, Someone, somebody lent in to try and clarify the t-shirt. I was so scared, I thought they were going to Chris Rock me then. <laughs> no, but I am actually a huge fan of Peter Dinklage. I really, really do look up to him. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> to be fair, I look up to about 99% of people, but that's not the point. Now, I want to tell you a bit about my life, because I have difficulties and struggles in everyday life that you lot take for granted. The biggest one being shopping. Shopping for me is a nightmare. Now, firstly, I have to actually get to the shop. And I actually do drive. No, it is not a Mini, sir. It's very rude to presume I drive a Mini. But everybody says to me, George, how, how do you drive? Because of your arms and legs. It's simple. One dwarf on each pedal, one dwarf driving two on the cushions and one's the direction. Simple. Sorted. But anyway, first lot is getting to the shop. And it's, you know those car parks with the barriers? They're a nightmare. Because you like, you're fine, you're like... Me? <laughs> Climbing out of the car to try and get this bloody ticket. Just saying like... <sighs> and the, you can see a guy in the car behind me face going... This ticket, I think, right, finally got it. Basically, my foot is around my steering wheel. Now, if that slips off, I've got... Thank you. Smooth. <laughs> Thanks. I know if my foot slips off the steering wheel, I've got a face full of concrete I'm coming. So anyway, get the ticket, it's all fine. Just as I get my hand back in the car, the ticket slips out. Shit. So anyway, sort that out, we're fine. Park up. Disabled bay, obviously, come on. But my mum always moans at me when I park in disabled bay. She's like, George, you park a bit skew with here, why? I'm like, mum, I've got to prove to everybody else I actually need this space, you know? But apparently parking sideways along four of them is a bit excessive. <laughs> so then anyway, we get into the shop, I get the trolley. And you know the trolley's always got like that little seat for the kids in? Every time I grab one, part of me thinks, could I still fit in that little seat in the trolley? But then trying to explain, because knowing me, I'll probably get stuck, trying to explain what a man with a fully grown beard is doing in the kid's seat on a trolley, not the easiest thing to explain. So anyway, I'm going into the shop this one day, and this woman comes out, and she look, looks at me, she sees me like this, she goes, <gasps> she, no word or lie, she throws a coin to my feet, she goes, What the bloody hell was all that about? If that woman is throwing coins around, I'm following her all day. <laughs> so I'm thinking, okay, weird. So anyway, I get in. And why is it, whenever you need something and you ask one of your shop assistants, what they hear is, I want to challenge you to a race to the baked bean aisle. So they then decide, wait, follow me. It's like, bloody hell, all right? So, um, one time I had to get a shop assistant to find a shop assistant to find the baked beans that I was looking for. So anyway, got to the baked beans and 
As per usual, there's nobody down the aisle. And where are the baked beans? <sighs> Top shelf. So I think, right, there's nobody down here. Don't want to waste my time, I'm in a rush. I know what I'll do. So is there anybody in this audience like that's a fan of the Mission Impossible films? Oh, I think you are, yeah you are. <laughs> right, does anybody know the theme tune to Mission Impossible? Yeah? yeah no, Good. Yeah, I want you to sing along for it, that's what it's like climbing these shelves. So come on, what's your name, sorry? Andy. Come on Andy, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> that's Star Wars. <laughs> I mean, I'm not Yoda. <laughs> you bloody scientist. <laughs> All right. Me and Darth Vader are going shopping now, apparently. <laughs> these, these aren't the beans you're looking for. That wasn't the fucking music I was looking for either. So anyway, climb up. After him in a medley of Star Wars, Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, whatever the fuck that was doing there. Get the baked beans and I think, right, how can I get down? <sighs> Andy? Yeah, yeah, I need you to sing, like, uh, Jaws, I don't know, you know? Something like that, you know, for to get down. No, 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 not Mission Impossible, we'll try that, you fucked it up. Let's try some else, yeah? Okay. So we're going, going down, this, uh, down. But, one time I was going, climbing down the aisle, and I didn't quite look where I was going. And I ended up sitting on a cucumber. Yeah, that was, oh, yeah. Walk, walking around the store going, oh, 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 oh. I'm just glad it wasn't a pineapple. I've done that before as well. <laughs> walking around the shops going, I've got two arseholes. Oh, oh. <laughs> to be fair, I'm just glad I wasn't in Aztecs. Then everywhere I would, I'd have to go, oh. <laughs> But I know Sainsbury's say try something new today, but that's not quite what I think they had in mind. I swear to God, if anybody shouts out every little help, I will smack you. <laughs> but then, got the baked beans and the pineapple up my arse. I think, right, what else do I need? Right, I need something from the freezer section. So I get to the freezer section, and it's miles away, like massive freezer. So I'm like, right, I know what I'll do. I climb up, trying to reach the thing, and every time I fall in. So I'm like this. Down the freezer. Annoy, like trying to start fishing in the freezer. And then all you hear over the tunnel is Dwarf in aisle four, Dwarf in aisle four. But that's actually a great method of shopping for me because what I do while I'm in the freezer is I shove a great big pack of chips down my pants. I think, right, shoplifting 101 this. Because then I can get away with this for two reasons. One, the security guard can't ask me because, one, I'm disabled he can, and people cannot ask disabled people anything without offending them. And two, if he goes home and his family goes, so how was your day at work? Well, I asked a small boy what was in his pants. <laughs> Doesn't sound the greatest, does it? So anyway, another, so anyway I'm going around the shop, has got this trolley full. Of course, when I've got a trolley full, I can't see what's ever what's coming my way. So one time I'm going around the shop, go around the corner, and all I hear is, "Ow!" Turns out I broke the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out this woman was stacking the bottom shelf, and I didn't see her and whacked her with my trolley. So I'm like, "Oh, I'm so sorry, really sorry." So I get to the checkout, paying for it, tell the woman what had happened. No word of a lie, she says to me, if I point her out to you, will you do it again, please, but harder? <laughs> I've suddenly got a new job as a self-stacker trolley smacker. I didn't even know that was a thing. Great job, great pay. More than what this gig is. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, pack all the bags, sorted, driving home. And well, I've got to get home quickly because I'm going out that night. And as I'm driving home, this guy pulls out in front of me and we I crash into him. So get out, he gets out to confront me, I walk up to him, look him straight in the eye and I go, I'm not happy. <laughs> I'm a six other mate, it's fucking furious. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, get home, because I'm going out, as I said, I'm going out that night, going out clubbing. I love clubbing, me, love the nightclubs, missed them during lockdown. 
But for me, clubbing is... I, I play a game of nightclubs that I like to call Drunk Ninja Warrior. So I'm there in the middle of the dance club, probably dancing to, I don't know, Blink-182's All The Small Things, you know. <laughs> And we enter level one of Drunken Ninja Warrior. And you won't realise you're doing this. Because when you've got your drinks in your hand, if you have few, you're just swinging them about like this. So I'm there trying to dodge every single person. I'm going, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Shit, got one. So anyway, that's level one of Drunken Ninja Warrior. Get past that, level two. People with their pints spilling them all over me. I'm getting soaked. So I'm thinking, right, what do I do? I know. I did what anybody in that situation would do. I took shampoo with me next time I went. So anyway, next time nightclub, get a bit wet, whip out the head and shoulders. Other shampoos are available, by the way. And have a, li- have a little wash. I'm probably the only person to ever come out of a nightclub looking better than when they went into the nightclub. <laughs> One, day, one night, uh, there was a bit too much water and I accidentally started a phone party and I had this great big beard. Uh, yeah, they called me Dumble Dwarf. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to leave you on that joke. You've been wonderful. Thank you. Good night! <laughs> <laughs>